Well, praise the Lord, saints. This is a Reverend Medrick Bussey. I'm an associate minister here at Jordan Temple Baptist Church, where our pastor is Pastor Stephen E. Richardson, and our program is Sister, Sister Cynthia Richardson. We want to just take a time out, uh, just call this a quick segment called, I call it a moment of meditation. Hallelujah. We need to study one, one or two scriptures and just get an understanding of it. And I, I chose to, I chose Psalms chapter 27. Verse 1 through 5. And it reads is, is this. It says, uh, When thou pass, I'm sorry, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, e even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat of my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Hallelujah. Though war shall arise against me, it will not, I will, I will be confident in this. One thing I have desired of the Lord that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret secret of his tabernacle shall I hide, so he hide me. He shall set me upon a rock. Glory to God. It is amazing how these scriptures can come to life, especially when you're going through something. Uh, it, is, it, is, uh, it is an encouraging word that we need in times of trouble. Uh, it is, it's, it's, so, it's so enlightening to me when, when I read the first few words, the Lord is my light, hallelujah, and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? And this is just something we need to understand. The God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. Hallelujah. So when we are not when we are not in fear, we have a sound mind. There's no confusion. And it's really, really a good thing. And we know when the devil comes against us, is this when the wicked, uh, when the wicked, even my enemies, my foes came upon them to eat of my flesh. They stumbled and fell. Those individuals who are trying to block you, trying to block your finance, trying to block you from getting that house, trying to block you from getting that promotion on that job, trying to block you from getting that, that business started. <laughs> they cannot win because they, they will stumble and they will fall. Hallelujah. That means they cannot, they cannot come against you because you are a child of the king, the most high God. Hallelujah. Those, and understand is there's going to be a host of enemies who are trying to get around you. But you shall come out unscathed. Hallelujah. Though a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Fear is the false evidence appearing real. Don't let fear grip you. God has not given us a spirit of fear. Though war should arise against me, in this I will be confident. That I will not fail. Hallelujah. God will not fail me and, and I will not fail him because my faith is increased daily or, or constantly when I go, when we go through things. Uh, uh, one thing I have desired of the Lord that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord. I may dwell in his presence. When you're in the presence of God, Satan cannot enter in. Hallelujah. He, there is a do not enter sign at his, at his place. He can't come through there because you are in the presence of God. And that is the light of God. And darkness cannot come into the light. It does, it does not conquer light. And when we understand God's will for our lives, we will see all of the scriptures. And we will apply it to our lives. It says, uh, 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 for in the time of trouble, he shall hide me. What does that mean? In the time of trouble, he shall hide me. He will keep your enemies from finding you. He would keep you in a place of safety. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run in and they are safe. We need to really grab a hold of that scriptures and these scriptures in, 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 in particular and understand. He shall hide me in, in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me upon a rock. Glory to God. He shall hide you in his presence and in his, and in his house, in his temple. When we go to the church, you know, we, we, we go to the, to the building itself and we are safe. We feel safe and we are amongst the believers. But when you come out from under that, know that you are always in God's presence. 
Hallelujah. You, you know, he shall put you on a rock. Satan can't reach you because you are on a rock. Upon this rock I shall build my church. Well, brothers and sisters, God has a plan for you. And when you begin to understand his scriptures, Psalms 27, 1 through 5, study that scripture and put it in your heart. Let it permeate, let, let it marinate, and say it when you're going through trials and tribulations. And know that this, when you go through this, you're not going alone. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. I'm with a major blessing, an associate minister here at Jordan Temple, our pastor, Pastor Stephen Richardson. And his, in his words, we always say this God is on your side. Be blessed. I'll see you next time.